everyone who has created a video about Kano always says Kano is the second biggest city next to Lagos. The second largest city in Nigeria after Lagos. Second biggest city in Nigeria, Kano. But how true can this really be, given that Nigeria is yet to conduct any incredible census in this country? Just look at the massive cluster of houses here in Kano. And this is just a tiny fraction of the city. Where we are right now is Dala Hill. And from here, you get to see the whole city. Now, it is said that this Dala Hill is where Kano State actually started from. In fact, that Kano State used to be called Dala. So we're actually counting the steps. Because on Wiki, I saw somebody posted there's 9,000 steps to get to the hill stop. But that's not true. So right now, I'm counting it for you guys to see how many steps I have to count to actually get to the hill top. So we can actually change that. Because, you know, most of these people that write these things on Wiki on the internet actually haven't even visited the place. They just write. <laughs> Nine hundred and one. Yeah. Okay. How many steps do we have we from have ground the, to get to the Dala Hill it's top? One hundred and ten. One hundred and ten. Yeah. I thought you said one hundred and one. Okay, so one hundred and one. Sorry. Okay. Just how many hill? How many steps do we have to climb from top, from bottom to get to the top of it's the Dala Hill? One hundred and one. 101. Oh, yeah. Was it what we counted? Yes. 101. Yes. All right. So please, Wikipedia, correct your statistics. 101. This is Kano State. It is located in the northern part of Nigeria. The city metropolis alone is estimated to be about 5 million people. This city just bustles with commercial activity at every corner, making it to end its name as a commercial center of Nigeria. The city commercial progress is dated as far back as the 13th centuries, in the days of iron, camel, and rice pyramid. One of the greatest commercial cities in northern Nigeria is Kano. Today, Kano still holds some of the biggest markets in West Africa, such as textiles, grain, and vegetable market. The city has also maintained some of the most ancient craft and spots dating over 100 years plus, such as the Kofa Mata Dai Pit, the local tannery, the Daba Festival, the Dambe Spot, and the animal spot done by the Haina men used for selling of local medicines. Surprisingly, the city still maintains some of its ancient walls that was demolished during the British invention. So moving around Kano, most people that I actually met in Kano and I asked them how secure and how safe is Kano. So almost everyone told me that Kano is very, very safe, that it's a very safe place. One thing I can say is that the city feels and looks very, very safe. However, I cannot say the same of outside of the city since I really don't know the conditions there. Although I have been outside of the city once, yeah, I went for <laughs> some of that stuff. Okay, so generally speaking, when it comes to security issues, I think most of the security things that really happen happen outside of the city centers and also along the road to get to the city. Like you have a lot of the kidnapping that happens. It actually happens between, let's say, if you're moving from Abuja to Kaduna, along the road, that happens. And also if you're moving out of the city center, probably into the other rural areas that they have a lot of these issues but within the city center in most cities in nigeria it's extremely safe all right so i wanted to tell you guys about that so this area we are in kano is actually like the jerry area of kano and this is actually where you have most of the indigenous of kano actually especially the big men they all stay in this area but the non-indigenous actually stay in an area called sabongari so one of the things i actually found fascinating in kano is that i did not actually see a lot of people begging on the road there are a couple of people begging on the road, but I don't really see a lot of children begging on the road. Like what you literally see in Abuja, you find lots of young girls, young boys actually moving on the road and begging. I did not really see that in Kano, of course, I found a couple of one or two persons that are begging, especially those that are actually probably disabled that are also begging. But to see like a, a clutter of lots of young girls begging in this Kano, I did not really see that. That's something I really find surprising because in Abuja, I find a lot of that in Abuja, but I don't find it in Kano. So one of the best ways to actually move around Kano is to use a tricycle. 
and right now we are riding on one and if you come to Kano, Kano have the highest number of tricycles in Nigeria and literally everywhere you move around there is tricycle but one thing is that the transportation here is extremely cheap probably because of the tricycle you mean you can move around the stand and just pay a very little money there are other ways you can move around Kano like you can use boats go to walks in Kano I'm sure Uber also work here and there are also types of services that you can literally use if you visit the stand Alright, just, just like you have this Chicken Republic at my back, there are also so many other eateries in Kano and restaurants in Kano that you can actually check out if you get to visit the town. Alright, so right now I'm currently in Spoonit. Spoonit is one of the restaurants they also have here, just like Chicken Republic. And one thing I really like about this place is the ambience of this place. It's really, really lovely. This so Wakamian Long goes for 1,500 naira. Quite expensive actually. <laughs> as much as expensive as you have in Abuja as well. Uh, it's quite surprising because in Kano they produce a lot of fruits, vegetable grains and all of that so I probably thought fruit juice here could be much much cheaper but apparently it's not. Beside the big restaurants that you can actually just buy and eat food in Kano, just like in every other city you also have to cast like this where people can actually just come and just order food on the streets, on the road and eat. Alright, so we also have that in Kano. Just behind me is this statue of pop cola that they have at this beautiful roundabout so that's one of the popular drink that they have here of course you have coca-cola and all of that but pop cola seems to be one of the popular drink that is in Kano and it's actually produced in Kano I'm currently in Kofa Mata Dai Pit and uh, I'm trying to show you guys how clothing are actually produced in this part of the world in Kano city you know manually all right this is where we are and right now I've been taught how to actually move the soak this clothing inside this dye pit so that you can actually color it and make the patterns that you see that is being sold in the market that looks beautiful but this is how it all starts come and visit Kano State and when you come to Kano State you need to come to this Kofamata yes. dye pit okay so this is a national museum of Kano all right so if you come to Kano State this is one of the places you can actually visit to learn more about the history in Kano the difference between sheep skin goat skin no we don't know the difference you you know I, yes no, me I know Okay. If I show you that this one is sheep skin. So this is snake skin? Snake skin, yes. Oh boy. Okay. This is snake skin. You can see the, yeah. the color of the snake. Wow. So you've processed yeah, it now. Yeah. Kano State is the largest producer of leather. Most of the leathers are used in Nigeria and outside of the country is actually produced in Kano State. The monument at my back is actually a gate. Okay, it's a representation of a gate. It means Kofa in our satellites. Top of it is what you have there is a trumpet that normally that is being blown when the emir is coming out or going out of the gates. All right. Beside the gate, you have this Aruba sign, which you find mostly in the north, almost everywhere in the north, and also in the clothings that you have that the northerners mostly wear. So we are checking out the, one of the street food eaten in Kano and this one is called Gurasa. You eat it together with uh, Suya. That's what he's preparing. Uh, it's one of the most popular street food eaten in Kano. What is it made of? It's made of flour. Flour? This is flour and... Uh, just flour with water and... Okay, so mainly some flour. Some sugar, some salt. But basically uh, this one they use is salt. So. Okay, salt. But this one they mix with sugar that is sweet. And you also eat like that. Okay, but it's on its salt. Yes. And it's it say, it say the most popular street food in Canada. Yes, the most popular for me. Ah, <laughs> maybe that's the one you like. The lifestyle here, as well as other northern parts of the country, is a bit different from what is obtained from the southern part of Nigeria. It is mostly referred to as an Arawa state, where the people here practice Islam as a religion. However, you can also get a southern vibe in Kano if you visit places like Sabongari and Jaba, which is predominantly occupied and developed by the southerners. Although Kano has made some development advancement, majority of the populace here still live in a very impoverished condition. 
Nonetheless, some of the richest people in Nigeria as well as in Africa today comes from Kano, such as Adusama Adrabiu and Aliko Dangote, who happens also to be the richest man in Africa as of the time of this video. If you want to see more videos about Kano, you can actually click this playlist here. And if you like adventure and want to see more videos about adventures in Nigeria, you can actually click this playlist here. If you're new on the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn up your notification so you get to see our content when they drop. And if you love our videos and like to support what we do, you can actually use the thanks button on this video and click and support us. Alternatively, you can check the description below where you can buy us a coffee or you can join our YouTube membership so that you can support us every month to continue to do what we do. Lastly, if you plan to visit Kano anytime soon, then you need to check out the next video that will be coming up. If I already dropped that video, then I also put it up somewhere here. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.